Hi everyone and welcome to the virtual tour of everything in the Community Services Department. Our first stop is going to be the Little Elm Community Recreation Center. When you first stop by the Recreation Center, you're greeted by our amazing front desk staff. They will scan your membership card or answer any questions you might have. On the first floor and to the right, you will see our full-size gym. This gym can hold an array of different court sports and there's even adult leagues that you can join. The gym has multiple basketball nets and can even be divided down the middle. There are also bleachers for spectators. Our newest addition to the Recreation Center is this contactless temperature check station. We ask all guests to check their temperature as they come into the building. We are now heading into one of our two classrooms. These classrooms are used for group exercise classes that we offer and they're included with every membership. Next up on our tour is Kids Zone. Kids Zone is the child care center that we provide with family memberships. While you're working out, your kiddos can come down here and play with different toys, watch movies, or even use different arts and crafts. They are guaranteed to have loads of fun with our staff members. Now we're heading upstairs to the fitness floor. The fitness floor is a whopping 7,000 square feet. There's home to cardio equipment, weights, and even a functional training room. Best of all, it overlooks the lake, so you get a wonderful view while you're working out. You're free to use any of this equipment with your membership. You'll find towels and disinfectant scattered around the fitness floor as well. Personal training is also available as an added cost. And that completes the tour for the Little Elm Recreation Center. If you have any further questions, feel free to visit our website and follow us on social media. Next up, we have the highly anticipated and newest member of the Little Elm family, the Cove at the Lakefront Water Park. I know you're excited to get to this one, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, of course, the Cove is still under construction, so you may have to use your imagination. So go ahead and bear with me. When you enter the doors of the cove, you're going to see a ticketing desk on your left and a help desk on your right. When you first walk into the cove, the first thing you're going to see is our Flow Rider Double. This attraction mimics surfing and it's one of the only of its kind in the metro. This next area is probably one of the most exciting because you can see that it's actually coming to life. This right here is the play structure and it is colorful and fun. You can see the items on it are paddle boards, wake boards, a kayak, and yes, these items are real. It's really capturing our fun lake life feel here in the lakefront. Now, right in front of the play structure, we have our party rooms that will be available to rent. These rooms can be divided up to different rooms or open into one big room. This next area is going to be the splash area for the little ones. It's going to be a big pirate ship, if you can't tell, and it's going to have a big tree in the back. Next, it looks like we're heading upstairs to the mezzanine. This area is going to be a very comfortable lounge area. It's going to look over the entire water park. You'll be able to see your kiddos down below or just hang out, kick back, and relax. Now I made sure to grab this shot because this is where a giant TV screen will be hanging above the flow rider. Those who are riding on the flow rider will pop up on the big screen so you can be upstairs watching your friends and family ride the flow rider on the big screen. Now here we're getting an overview of the lazy river, the lap lanes, and the deeper activity pool. We'll be sure to get a better view of this downstairs, so let's go ahead and head that way. We are now in the back of the cove, and in this area there's going to be a patio with lots of comfortable seating for you to hang out and relax during the warmer months. Now here's that better view that I was talking about. You're going to be able to see where our lazy river, lap lanes, our deeper activity pool will go. There will even be two huge body slides along with six cabanas that you can rent out. To finish off the tour, back here is going to be easily accessible lockers, the locker room, offices for our staff, and the break room for our lifeguards. And that concludes the tour of the Cove. Be sure to follow us on social media for updates because this is changing nearly every day. Next up on our tour is the Senior Center. The Senior Center is where we provide lots of programming events or different socials for our seniors in the community. Now this entire space is really just a hangout for our seniors in the community. It's a place where they can come and gather. There's usually lots of programming going on, different events. 
Normally there's something almost every day going on. However, right now we are doing things virtually, but we cannot wait to get back to normal. And as you can see here, the senior center does have a full-size kitchen because there are fun things like senior luncheons and ice cream socials that go on. And those are always lots of fun. They're a really great opportunity for the seniors to come out and mingle together. And that looks like that wraps up the senior center. Next up, we're heading to one of my favorite places, which is the animal shelter. So the animal shelter is by appointment only right now, however it is open to adopt a furry friend of your own. So if you see someone in this video that you think might make a perfect addition to your family, why not call the animal shelter and find out if they're still available. Now right here is the adoption room which is where you play with your furry friend to see if they're going to make the perfect match for you. Now we just came into the cat room where there is one kitty cat who really wants to play. This is where all of the cats are housed. Next up, it looks like we're headed to the dog kennels. Now this is where all the dogs are housed and we have to say hello to all of them, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at who's in here. Now these pups are just too cute. Remember, if you see one that you like, you might just need to give the animal shelter a call. Back here is where all of the supplies are stored and you can see we have an abundance of supplies thanks to many, many generous donors. We want to say thank you to you if you've ever donated to the animal shelter. Your kindness is greatly appreciated. And this is where the department vehicles are housed. Our animal services officers will ride in these if they're ever on a call. Out here is just a big grassy area so that the dogs can run around and play outside. As you can see, I think they're excited to get out and play. And that concludes our tour of the animal shelter. If you're ever looking for a furry friend, you can view all of the available animals to adopt on our website. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the departments that don't necessarily require a tour. First up, we have our parks maintenance department. This department maintains all of our parks and trails and keeps them looking wonderful and fresh all year round. If you ever see a parks crew member out, be sure to give them a thank you because they are out in the blistering hot and freezing cold all year round just to keep the parks and trails looking great. And next, all of our special events that we have throughout the year like Pumpkin Hollow, Christmas at the Beach, Big Easy, and everything else, it all comes from our special events department that is also housed here in Community Services. They are a small department, but they work really hard all year round to keep our special events going. And especially this year with all the things that are having to switch to virtual or online or socially distanced, they've been doing a great job of reworking our traditional events and making them into a COVID-19 specialized event. Now last but not least, we're stopping by the library on our tour. When you first walk through the library doors, you're greeted by our wonderful library staff. Sarah. Hi Sarah. Now the library is home to hundreds of books of course, but they also host lots of different programming events. Right now they're hosting a lot of virtual programming events that you can see online on their Facebook page. Now we're going to head into the Makerspace. The Makerspace is an area where you can engrave loads of different materials and they make great gifts or even something for yourself. The Makerspace is free to use with your library card. As you can see, the library is home to so much more than just books. Just around the corner here, you see loads of different computers that are available for use with your library card. And there's even little go bags for kids that they can take and go on little adventures or scavenger hunts with. We're going to go ahead and check out the 3D printer to see what it's printing now. Did you even know that the library had a 3D printer? I'm not sure what this is printing, but it sure does look pretty cool. And now that wraps up our tour of the library. Now I can't believe I almost forgot about my very own department. Marketing and communications is housed in community services as well. Now while there might not be anything to tour, I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about it. We're a small team of three and we do things like social media, news releases, advertisements, and all sorts of different communications. We even do things like videos, like this one right here. I'll actually be voicing and editing all the other CGA tours as well. 
If you would really like to do us a favor, we would love it if you would like and follow all of the Town of Little Elm sponsored social media platforms that we have. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour and I'll see you in the next one.